Here we can see in the darkness the motor start and light the motor is completely off. Only in the darkness the motor start to run. In light it stay off. To do this project stay with me. We need a breadboard, a 500k pot and middle pin is variable part of the register. Two register, one is 220 ohm, other is 100 ohm. Also need a LDR which is known as a light dependent register. A NPN transistor which is BC547. Also need a power NPN transistor which is TIP122. A LED. A long terminal is positive. To test the circuit we need a LED. Also need some wire. Uh, finally, we need a motor which is DC motor with propeller. So this is the circuit diagram to run a motor using a LDR. We have to connect all the pin as same the circuit diagram shown in here. We need two transistor and two of the transistor is P type transistor. One transistor is BC547 which is low power transistor. Other transistor is TIP122 which is high power transistor. To run this motor we use a high power transistor and low power transistor is connected with collector pin in 5 volt and base pin is connected with 100 ohm and opposite side of the register is connected with 500k port every time we connect the LDR we need to adjust this potentiometer and middle pin is connected with 5 volt and base pin is also connected with the LDR and opposite side of the LDR is connected with ground when the light fall in the LDR the resistivity increase and current current will flow to this way when the resistivity increase in darkness the resistivity increase and the current will flow to base and when the current will flow to base this transistor will active and current will flow to collector to emitter and on the other hand the emitter pin is connected with 220 ohm resistor to limit the current of this transistor base pin which is connected with base pin when this transistor active it will flow a current to collector to emitter and this power transistor will active and current will flow to collector to emitter through this motor and emitter pin is connected with any terminal of the motor because motor have no polarity and opposite terminal of the motor is connected with ground to prevent the back voltage i use a diode and uh, this diode is put reverse because to preventing the back voltage we need to put the diode in reverse way the cathode terminal will be connected with positive. So this is the circuit diagram. Now let's see the breadboard connection. Must connect LDR in the negative rail of the breadboard and other side of the LDR is connected with the base of the transistor which is BC547. Now collector pin of the transistor is connected in the positive rail and base pin is connected with a 100 ohm resistor and opposite side of the resistor is connected with a potentiometer and middle pin of the potentiometer is connected with a positive rail of the breadboard positive terminal of the LED is connecting in the emitter pin of the transistor and ground the LED with 220 ohm resistor. This is the test circuit. Now connect the power in the circuit. Adjust the resistivity. Minimum resistivity where the LED started to glow. Now you can see in the darkness the LED started to glow or the transistor active. In light the LED stay off and the transistor is deactive. Now open the circuit and in the emitter we connect the 220 ohm resistor and power transistor base is connected with a 220 ohm resistor and collector pin of the trans power transistor is connected with a positive rail and a diode is connected and a emitter pin is connected with cathode cathode terminal of the diode. Now connect any terminal of the motor in emitter pin and other terminal of the motor is connected in the negative rail of the breadboard. 
Now connecting power in the circuit. Now you can see when the LDR get the darkness, the motor start to run. In darkness, the motor start to run. During light, the motor stay completely off. So if you learn something new then don't forget to subscribe my channel then see you next time.